Welcome to an advanced tutorial of the 2016 Rayhow OEM product for LoopCAD. The primary new features that we're going to talk about today are RAUPEX speed, as well as supply and return, piping and sizing. This tutorial doesn't cover the basics of LoopCAD. We're just going to jump to the project wizard, which shows the new features of RAUPEX speed. So for an above grade application, Instead of using RAW panel, we now have the options to go to one of three different RAUPEX speed choices here. We can choose our overpour thickness, our slab thickness overall, insulation values, and then the fastener is going to be none because of the hook and loop design of RAUPEX speed. We can do the same thing for the basement panels. Then hit next and finish. If you're already in a project and decide you want to switch to RAUPEX speed from a different type of application, you can select both of the rooms in this case. When you right click, you can go to Radiant Panel Properties. In the Radiant tab at the top, instead of an embedded slab, we can select Gypsum Over Pour for this case. Hit OK. Apply Changes. OK again. The other new feature is relating to the manifold supply and return piping. So if you click on the actual red manifold here and right click, you have the option to go into supply and return piping. So let's say that you are 35 feet away from the mechanical room. That's going to be the length one way and it will automatically select the tube size. Currently, we just have the RAUPEX O2 barrier pipe, and it's going to select not only the amount of pipe that you're going to need, but the fittings co to connect to the manifold that you have. When you hit Apply Changes, it doubles that total length to 70. Now, when you go to the Materials tab, you will have the RAUPEX O2 barrier pipe. You only need 70 feet of that, but the shortest length that you're going to have is 100 feet. That's your SNR piping. You also have your RAUPEX speed pipe here and the RAUPEX mat. So this is going to be based on the total square footage of your project, not individual pieces. So you will have to cut the, the mat to fit the different rooms, especially if you have an odd shape or something like that. When you click on details, it gives you a link to the product literature as well as to the resource center. If it's something new, that's where you can go. If it's something older, there may be a newer version of that on the resource center. When you generate a report, it's going to calculate the flow rate, the head loss, and that's going to include the manifold as well as the piping for your supply and return lengths.